We can trigger a body based automation when some action happens within our UI. To be able to do that, we need to create the automation in the Automate tab, integrate it in our Design tab, and then maybe tweak it a little bit when we get back to the Automate tab. So let's do that. Let's head to the Automate tab and create a new automation. This time it's going to be a UI, so I'll click on the App Action option and click Save. I get to choose which roles are allowed to be able to execute this trigger. So maybe just the admin can see it, maybe only power users, basic or public. I'm going to leave it on basic. And I'm going to add a number of fields. You can have as many or as little fields as you would like here. Maybe it's just a button that triggers a report. Maybe it's a button that sends information through. Let's have some different fields. Name, has license. Now there are five different types of data we could send through. Text, number, boolean, a date time, or an array. Signed up, be a boolean, and an age, which will be a number. I'm going to publish that so that that trigger will be available within my design layer. I'll head over to design, and I will add a component to add a new button. I'll change the inner text to be trigger action. And I'll head over to define actions on the right, scroll down to trigger automation, and use an existing automation, one that I've just done. I can add some fields, so let's add the name, could be Kevin. Um, I could add the has license, and maybe I could use a binding for something on this page or something else. For now, I'll just say true. Has signed up, I'll set to false. And age, I'll set to. 107. And I'll save that. So if I preview, you can see I'm here. Yay, it's working. If I hit the trigger action, it says only apps with production can support this endpoint. And as, as we know from other automations, only published applications can, can have these working. So I'll publish and view the application. And now when I click the trigger action button, it says automation triggered. Let's head back to the automate tab. We can see, well, this was triggered fine. And we can see it was triggered because if we go back to our admin, click on manage, and have a look at automation history, we can see that our UI automation trigger was indeed triggered, but it didn't do anything. So let's make it do something. So back into BuddyBase University, back into Automate, and back to our UI. We'll We'll send an email. Again, we'll send it to test at Tim Cunningham. We'll send it from test at buddybase.com. And for HTML content, we'll just send all of the fields in one blob. Now you could be creating rows, you could be adding more integrations to other third party applications, you could be doing some other scripting. There are lots of things that you could be doing here. But I'm going to publish that and I'm going to push my trigger action again. And now when I go to my email, I can see the object that I set has been sent through. This means that I can have buttons within my application that are triggering anything that I can connect to. So anything that will accept the webhook, I can send a webhook. Anything that can um, trigger data or find more data, I can do a report, trigger an action, add an integration. As always, if we're finished with this particular action, we can delete it. And then we can press publish again to make sure that um, our changes have been persisted.